joining me now from Los Angeles is the lead attorney for the lawsuit, Jenny Pasquare Pasquarella. Thank you very much indeed for, for joining us. So can you spell out what uh, the, the main meat of your, your court case is? Sure. Um, we're asking the government to end this program, which is known as CARP, which is a secret program that is denying not only our clients, but thousands and thousands of people um, in the United States and overseas from obtaining citizenship, green cards, visas, and even refugee or asylum status on the basis of this secret program that has been kept secret for years and we think is actually not only unconstitutional, but clearly violates the immigration law. Do you have actually the details of it, though? Because, I mean, I, my understanding was that this was a leak of information. So are you sure that you're on solid ground for your court case? Yes, we are, actually. We've been working on this program for years now and monitoring the way in which the government has been treating Muslim applicants differently than everyone else who applies for citizenship and green cards. And through that work, we actually discovered the existence of this program and were able to ascertain um, exactly what the program does and says, and found through a series of public information requests um, that the program has essentially created um, criteria for blacklisting individuals, what they call you know, national security concerns, but the criteria for identifying who is a national security concern is so vague and overbroad that it identifies people simply because they come from certain countries, um, because they're associated with people that are, have, have been put on um, watch lists of the U.S. government. Um, and even, you know, we think that are identifying people simply because they're, they're Muslims and practice their religion. Okay. I mean, it's been difficult. The, the, the um, U.S. citizenship and immigration services haven't been commenting because they say that there's a, there's a pending litigation. Someone in the, the office there described CARP as a process that's in place to handle cases where there are instances of some type of national security concern attached to it, as you, as you mentioned. Uh, isn't it fair, though, to, to have a kind of concern like that and to be as cautious as possible. Surely that's um, a government's responsibility. Sure. We're not saying that the government shouldn't screen people who apply for immigration benefits to ensure that there, is, that there isn't a national security concern. But what we're saying is that screening process can't be based on criteria that, that A, has no connection to actual national security concerns. But more importantly, it can't be barring people from obtaining citizenship and green cards, two very important benefits, as well as you know, asylum refugee status in this country, um, based on criteria that is not only a secret, but nowhere is found in the immigration code. And so what it is doing is it's secretly barring people who are actually eligible for these benefits from becoming citizens or obtaining their green cards in the United States. Okay, Jenny Pascarella, thank you very much indeed for talking to us about the case.